Well, they're away cleanly this time. Arenya gets a good start. So too alongside him does Distelberger. Arenya now really starting to charge home. It's Arenya and Distelberger in that order. Well, quickest away was certainly Arenya. Maya coming through strongly over the second half of the race. Not much to choose between the first three home there, Arenya, Distelberger and Maya. But I can tell you that Distelberger was given the same time in second place at 6.94. Amaya, 6.95, just one hundredth in arrears in third place. So good start there for Maya. That equals his personal best. As you can see, after the first of seven disciplines, Jorge Arenya and Dominic Distelberger both have 904 points after running 6.94 in that heat of the... 60 meters in the heptathlon. Those are the men who will complete the final as we're now in the second round of the heptathlon long jump and Kevin Meyer. Yes, he started with for him a fairly modest jump of 7.24. Chance now him to stretch away from that. See how he goes. Yes, better I think, but um, nowhere near Ashley Bryant, 7.60, which remains the easily the best jump of the competition. Well, I say nowhere near. A little short, I'd say, of Ashley Bryant's jump. To one in, superimposed on the screen there, but a few centimetres down on that. Nonetheless, it's a big improvement for Meyer. After that opening, 7.24. And now, yeah, 7.54. So that's the second best of the day. For only two events into the seven that will be contested over the course of today and tomorrow, but yes, it's going to be a very intriguing competition and many of the leading uh, contenders showing strongly in that long jump aboard of the first eight there I think the leading contenders Maya Bryant Arenia would have all liked to have jumped jumped that little bit further and perhaps capable on the season's rankings One but still produce solid performances so Maya has 1845 Bryant 1836 Caroli with that good long jump up to 1815 just ahead of Distelberger uh, the shot, an event that uh, could well cause quite considerable changes in the standings. Kevin Meyer, the Olympic silver medalist, goes in the first round of the shot. Oh, that's a nice put too for Meyer. Very nice put. Now he's got a personal best of 15.97. So he won't be too far away from that. And this should... Uh, Consolidates his lead in the event overall. Yep, 15.66. So there's the result of the shot. Darko Pesic, easily the best of that competition with his 16.08 from Kevin Meyer, 15.66. Now all the way down to Caroli at 12.21. So quite a gap in the overall points in that. And Meyer has. Uh, consolidate his lead at the head of the affairs 2675 76 ahead of Ashley Bryant who's having a very solid uh, series of events and then Helselet, Urania, Duda, Samuelson, Distelberger Meyer now in the heptath and high jump at 207 well clear for Meyer nice jump indeed that consolidates his lead well it was a very tight contest after three events but Maya now starting to open up a little bit of a gap on his rivals with that jump. Kevin Mayer improving his personal best to 210, so too Jorge Arrhenia adding five centimetres to his best the man who was the best high jumper, Rosenberg. There we scroll all the way down. Some good jumping there from men further down. Some personal best there. Those are the leading figures. So it's Mayer in the lead after four events at the end of the first day. 3,671 points, 125 points behind him. European leader, Arrhenia. And in third, Ashley Bryan. Helsele, third, yeah. I mean, very much the expected people, I think.
Well, away they go. Good stop by the Iranian. The Spanish costume next to him is uh, Distelberger. These two are getting away from the field. It's a good run also by Meyer. Meyer finishes well, but it's behind those two men who started so well, Distelberger and Urania. Let's have a look at it again. Urania was terrifically well away in lane three. Distelberger next to him in the dark vest. Kevin Meyer of France coming through now in lane seven and dipping hard. It's Urania just from Distelberger. 778 to 780. 788 for Meyer. And uh, while well, looking at Meyer, that's a huge personal best from 801 previously. So he really is on track for a pretty useful score here. Well, there's the photo. Not much in it for the uh, lead, but it was in fact uh, two hundredths of a second. Result of the second race of the hurdles, the top runners. Urania equaling the best ever in a European indoor heptathlon with 7.78, then Distelberger 7.80, Meyer 7.88, personal best for both of them, personal best also for Sikora, and Helselet maintaining his challenge in fourth place. So those are putting the two races together, adding in, of course, those like uh, Pesic who, and Ramsey, who came from the first of the races. Well, so those are the standings now after six, or rather five of the seven events. Maya, 4583, has a 99 point lead now over Urania. Helselet in third, then Bryant, Pesic, who's moved up to fifth, Dudas, Distelberger, and Samuelsson. Now, here's Kevin Maya. Didn't come in until 5.20, soared over that. Then he went over 5.30 at the first time. Now here is at 5.40. Yeah. He really is vaulting beautifully. It's quite a brave decision, almost one might have thought, to come in as late as 5.20. But he's obviously very confident in his form. He's only competed once uh, at the pole vault this indoor season, and he did 5.35 on that occasion. But uh, this 5.40 equals his outdoor best as well. And he had a lot to spare. So Pittenvilles and Mayer go on, having done 540, which is worth 1,035 points. Well, there's the results of the heptathlon pole vault very quickly. Both Kevin Mayer and Niels Pittenvilles both over 540. And that means that Kevin Meyer has a 224-point lead, 5.618, heading for the gold. And just what score will he do? For the European record, he needs to run 244.8 or quicker for the 1,000 metres. And he has a best of 237.3, and he's clearly in great shape. Kevin Meyer's had a wonderful heptathlon. He started with the 60 metres in 6.95, 7.54 in the long jump. 15.66 in the shot, 2.10 in the high jump. And then a personal best to start today at 5.86, and matching his pole vault best at 5.40. So he seemed to get better and better throughout the competition. So off they go on the final event of the heptathlon. See how they settle down. There'll be quite a difference in standards as one expects from the various athletes in this race. They'll all have their individual targets because it's not a question of who wins this race. It's a question of how they fare on the scoring tables. They're wearing uh, numbers according to their positions. So number 13, 13th overall. And, uh, Kevin Meyer is back in, what, 7th, 8th place, the Frenchman. Samuelson just coming up behind him, looking out for Arena as well. He's fairly well back in this pack at the moment. The Spaniard who's bidding for the silver medal. He's a little bit of a bid for glory here, of course, by the man who is 13, Caroli of Italy. Number 12, rather, but, um, getting my numbers slightly wrong. So that's Matthias Brugger of Germany. He hasn't actually had as good a competition as he might have expected, but he's obviously going to move up a position or two if he can keep going here. And they 
go with uh, Ruger very well in the lead indeed. And then it's the lesser ranked athletes mostly. And the five Disselbergers well placed in fourth. Bryant just going past him and Samuelson. And Maya's just behind them. Ruger's got a five second lead at the moment. Maya coming up on the outside, a little faster. Judas also pushing on. And he's got to beat uh, Helselet by those five seconds. So they're coming up now to the 800 metre point. And uh, certainly a very decent performance there, 2 4 39. And the crowd are really urging on Judas, who's putting in quite a burst at this stage of the race. <laughs> Ruger's rather dying out in the lead there now he's been chased down by the rest of the field this position's changing quite considerably number six there we have just a number one Maya, two Urania, three Helselet these are lesser positions Maya has done it. Maya has done it. 2.41.08. So he has smashed the championship record, the European record, and that's the second best performance of all time, just behind Ashton Eaton, with uh, another 8.61 points added from the 2.41.08 thousand metres from his fourth place finish. Well, tears for Dudas there. There was a clattering of athletes. Here we see the final bend. Dudas trips over the curb as Maya comes around him and just falls into That's the end of his medal aspirations. But Maya finishing magnificently. Yes, unofficially I've got his score at 6.479. This is the man of the moment, Kevin Maya. What a terrific series of points. Not least of which that penultimate event, the pole vault, cracking his personal best on several occasions. So there is confirmation of the result of the heptathlon thousand metres. Glory going to Darko Pesic of Montenegro with a personal best, 238.23. Then Brugge, and the important point was in in fourth place with Kevin Meyer smashing the records as we'll see in a moment or two. 14 men finishing the heptathlon from the 16 who started. Kevin Meyer taking the gold medal with 6,479 points. Jorge Reina of Spain, the silver, just missing the Spanish record with his 6,227. Helselet, 6,110. Then Distelberger getting over 6,000 at last. Dudas also Samuelson getting that barrier of 6,000 points for the first time.